Well, welcome. You have made it to Chapter 10 of Head First JavaScript Programming. You've come a long way, so thanks for sticking with us this far. Chapter 10 is a good one because it's where we liberate functions from being just functions. So far in this book, we have declared functions, we have invoked functions, and we've used functions for things like event handlers, which is what Chapter 9 was all about. But in this chapter, we start looking at functions from a slightly different perspective, and that is as values. To get you there, the first thing we do is take a closer look at how we create and invoke functions. There are actually a couple of different ways to create functions, and so we talk about that and step you through the details of how the browser handles functions and what it does with them when it sees them. So you'll learn about the mechanics of functions at a slightly deeper level. There are some subtle points to learn here about how functions are handled, so we include a lot of exercises in this chapter. Don't skip them. Get that pencil out and do those exercises. Type them in, try them, open up the browser console. Don't be afraid to experiment here. Okay, once we've gone through the details of how the browser handles creating functions, this is where we start really talking about functions as values. Thinking about a function as a value is kind of a weird thing, because when you look at a function, you might not think of it in the same way as you do a value, like you do, say, the number 3. So we have an interview with function to introduce this new way of thinking about functions, and then we really get to the heart of this topic, the concept of first-class values. This is a big award for values in a programming language, and JavaScript is the winner of this award for first-class functions. You'll have to read the chapter to get the details, but basically this award is given to functions because you can use functions just like you can any other value in the language. And note that JavaScript is actually a bit special in this regard. Not all languages earn this award for functions. First class functions are an abstract concept to wrap your head around. So we take you through an airline example and demonstrate all the ways that you can use a function as a value along with lots more exercises along the way to help it sink in. Once you get through that, we then take you through a concrete example of how first-class functions are used in the JavaScript language itself by looking at the sort method of arrays. We're helping out Webville Cola in this example by sorting all the Cola products that they have in their lineup. To do that, we need to create a bunch of functions that we can use to pass to the sort method. This method is a handy thing to have because by simply passing in a function to the sort, that makes it easy to sort a collection of anything. Numbers, objects, whatever you like. Sort doesn't care what you're sorting, and it doesn't really care how you're sorting it because you specify that with the function. It just does its sort. So you'll find out more when you read the chapter, but it really is kind of a cool thing. Again, I can't stress highly enough how important it is to do all the exercises. Go through the solutions too and make sure you understand everything. This is one of those topics that you really need to think deeply about. So take your time going through this chapter. It's not a particularly long chapter, but it's covering a big concept in JavaScript. And when you're done, you'll be thinking about functions in a whole new way.